I have to sum all the forces in the x direction and I have to sum them all in the y direction basically to calculate how much total force do I have in this direction, x, and how much total force do I have in this direction, y. I'm going to write an equation on this side here and it says that the sum of all forces in the x direction is equal to, and then I'm just going to start adding them up. So I have a F1x, but it's pointing left, and so left is going to be our negative direction. So I'm going to label that as negative F1x. And then I have to add F2x, so plus F2x, because this force is in the positive direction. So now I need to substitute something for each of these. So what is F1x? What is F2x? Well, according to trigonometry, it turns out that F1x is just equal to this force F1 times the cosine of this angle. So I'm going to substitute F1 cosine uh, 30 degrees. Now what about F2x? So F2x is equal to this force F2 times the cosine of this angle, so times the cosine of 45 degrees. Okay. So now I can put some numbers here because I already know force F1 and F2, so that's 50 newtons and 75. And then if I just add these two terms, I'll have my total force in the x direction. So the answer is 9.73 newtons. Now keep in mind, this came out as a positive number. That means as these forces are acting on this box, there's an overall x force of 9.73 to the right. 